super excited. Not for this game. Though. I'm super excited because I finally, you know, recently uh, I have been noticing more and more that the audio, the, the microphone audio and the game audio is actually off by a little bit because I never really noticed previously because like I would just when I went to test I would just watch snippets and it seemed fine in like the middle of the video but now that um, I've recently gotten to the end of a few videos because I've had to re-watch stuff coming up so I can come up with a good title um, because you know I haven't previously I never really did this where I was posting videos that I had recorded weeks or like even over a month in advance right now which is the case with persona and so you know i can't remember exactly which ha what happens i don't i need i need to have a title i need to have a description and so i've been noticing on pretty much every video you know i try to speak until i try to do something until the very end and then i hit stop recording and every single time it cuts me off like mid word so I went to my settings and I found out there was a setting that I thought was completely unassociated with the audio, was actually associated with the audio. So now this should be better than ever. This should be recording perfectly. Which of course means it's not going to be recording perfectly and it's, it's gonna, something's going to fuck up and, and everybody's going to call me a fraud and an idiot and whatever I'm used to it. So the problem with this game, I the game plan was actually... You would see this game first. You would see this game before Sonic Adventure, and then while I was posting this game, I would play something else, which I do have a plan for which game I'm going to play next. I would play something else, and then I would post Sonic Adventure after that, so there wasn't just like a... I wouldn't just constantly be smashing you in the face with Sonic footage. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know what exactly happened, but the folder for Sonic Unleashed disappeared. Just gone. I don't know where it went. I mean, I would hope, you know, that I would notice if I had deleted it, that I would have noticed it in the recycle bin before I deleted it permanently, So I, but maybe I did that. I just don't know, but it was gone, so that's why Sonic Adventure ended up getting posted. And that is why this is going to be posted immediately after, because I have this from Gamefly. I have other games I want to get from Gamefly. I need to get rid of this bitch. This thing needs to get rid of. So I need... Unfortunately, um, yeah, we don't, we really don't care. Unfortunately, the problem uh, associated with this, obviously, is the fact that as of, I have already played this, and I have already gotten to a point where I have quit already. I basically, I, I did not get very far in this game, and I'll point out to you when I get there where I quit, what made me quit, uh, but I won't, I'll, I will push past that, because the problem with doing this over again, with basically re-recording uh, footage of a game that I've already played through, the emotion isn't going to be the same, I know what to expect, I know what's happening, so it's not going to be, uh, as, you know, it's not going to be a fresh experience yet, so... For the moment, at least, unfortunately. He doesn't have to deal with me being... Just basically... I'm basically just gonna be sitting here and like, Oh, this is what I said when I was actually feeling something. But now I'm dead inside. So at this point, I actually have my TV muted. And that would probably be good to get rid of. Yep! But so this... Obviously, we went from Sonic 06 being Final Fantasy to now we are in the realm of Star Wars. Although I am very glad that this is significantly more um, cartoonish. They're not trying to make it, you know, make Eggman look like properly human. Thank God, because he was never drawn to have proportions to look properly human. Yeah, I was making fun of this scene for so long, but let me tell you, I gotta admit, it's actually pretty badass. I have to admit, it's pretty cool. I can't front. But it just, it's so confused. I mean, it's, it's basically when you see, like, the difference in, you know, Sonic and Mario have always been, you know, they're, they're the big, they were the big ones of their day. Sonic made Sega what it was, Mario made Nintendo what it was, and so just like I kind of, the divergence in philosophies is so incredibly easy to see. It's not gonna work bro, he's a super saiyan hedgehog. 
talk. I can beat up even Vegeta right now. Um, but yeah, you know, you have this game, which is trying, it tried with Sonic 06. It tries again with this game. It tries so hard to shoehorn in a story with writers that can't make a good story. I mean, I honestly don't think there's anything you can make. See, the problem is they try to take it too seriously. This series is not something that you can try to do. Uh, what is the word? Is it the bird? The bird is the word? No, um, you can't try and like show this off as you know like a serious series because it wasn't made that way. It was just made to be cartoonish. This is the part. This is the part where it stops being cool and it just gets fucking. Cool. Reflective that these guys. Yeah, you know, they're trying so hard to make this serious story that we're gonna care about versus Mario, which doesn't really have a story. It's like, hey, these things, or Princess Peach, or whatever, has been kidnapped by Bowser. Go through these levels to get to Bowser. There is your story. That is the extent of, you know, and then they just, you go level to level, and you play the game. That's it. You just play the game. Obviously, I don't need statistics or any kind of, like, official numbers. The same exact thing. I am a very redundant person, and I am sorry to show which one has been more successful. Obviously, Mario is a significantly more successful and, uh... I guess consistent series, you know, like it hasn't really, it hasn't had any huge lows. Whoa. Whereas, you know, it's also been criticized for a lack of innovation as well, which I don't think is really a valid criticism. Like, there's plenty of valid innovation elsewhere. If people want to continue playing the game they love and just have new levels with the gameplay that they love, then they're going to keep buying it, and that's what people have been doing. But other than that, there's really no criticism levied toward... Um, and then this shit, like, who thought this was a good idea? Who has ever played Sonic and thought, you know what would be great? If we could have some hack and slash wear hedgehog action. Yep. That's what we want, and why did he get soccer cleats? I don't know. I wasn't the one that designed this game. It's just as the Gaia manuscripts foretold. The entity that was sealed within the planet has awakened. It's just ridiculous, and that's why you know, like, I don't know, I don't know if time is being sacrificed on pulling together like good, effective gameplay in order to animate these scenes, in order to write this shit. Because you know, obviously, you have different teams focusing on different things all the time, so it could be entirely possible that this is really just getting writers a paycheck. But you can't complain about, you know, somebody getting a paycheck despite how you may mock everything they do. And why am I hearing him scream in space? It's like, I mean, I just, it's space. Science and shit. And then there's this giant fucking purple dust beast thing that just disintegrates into nothing and becomes like a shield around the planet and I don't fucking <laughs> why do you need this is Sonic the Hedgehog why do you need some gigantic apoc apocalyptic style event to get the ball rolling it's Sonic the fucking Hedgehog man but yeah it's just you know the, the creators of Mario are basically they design their levels like hey here you go here's our game have fun Whereas this game is like, hey, here's our game. Also, here's this random ass story that's gonna make no sense. Here's these random ass levels that you're gonna hate uh, uh, between all of your platforming levels, which are actually decent. And there you go, that's our game. Hope you enjoy it, but you won't. And it was tried to, I mean, because ba basically what happened the first time through, I don't know if I'm gonna take the same amount of time. I assume I will, because it's not like I got 
proficient enough at the game or even that the game had enough depth in the first place to allow me to get through the level. So basically what happened was I actually had decent fun on the first level. Platforming stuff. Good times. And then we got to um, what the, heck is the second on? level which was a Were Hedgehog level. And that level was just 30 minutes of boredom. Just pure boredom. And then here we have the Amnesiac okay? Hero. Mm, yeah, who I am calling... You know what? Let's just skip... No, okay, I can't hey, skip it. Well, I don't know. Maybe together. you can't. Nope. Nope. No, you actually... You really can't skip it. Okay, good. That's good design right there, too. I call that this dude was some, like... Okay? Representation Nothing of the broken? villain's power that we just saw. You know, he disintegrated, and so this dude is like a, p a piece of that oh, or something. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. That's what Mr. I call it. I never, guy. I never got to a point Mr. where you ever figure Monster anything out about guy? him, other than the fact that he digs Looks ice like cream, which who doesn't fucking ugly. dig ice cream? Yeah, look at those. But teeth that's actually really clothes. terrible What's that I name, cannot. Anyway? Oh, now I did. Here Weird, why did that work? I just, I go! hit start like five times and it never worked and now it finally did. Good. I don't, I don't have questions, so I'm not gonna. I think I missed like 15 rings in order to get those 10 rings. I don't know if that was, oh actually shit, what's my boost button again? Figure that out this second. You have this like ring boot. Oh shit! I hit the... I'm still not used to that. You have to. Uh, you, you don't just press jump and then jump again to get the homing attack. You have to press jump and then the X button. But there's something that I can use this ring energy, but I can't remember which fucking button to press. Oh okay. It, oh, it's just X. Okay. 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 For some reason, I thought it was the shoulder button. This is this is how this is how the mock speed segments should have been. You should have been able to just hit the shoulder buttons to move left and right. That's how the mock speed shit should have been. But it wasn't that wasn't how it was. So, I mean, at, le at the very least, at least they learned something from Sonic 06. They knew that, you know, those kind of segments where you stick the camera directly behind Sonic and you're going at super speed were not, they were not successful. People hated them. And so they made it more user-friendly. So this is the part where you find out this dude loves hitting on. It's still, okay, now I can't skip again. And now I can. Apparently, if I just hit it, like, 15 times, it'll work, I guess. <laughs> Now we have to talk to people. Actually, I don't know if I actually have to talk to people at this point in time. I think I can just go straight ahead to the levels. I hope. I very, very much hope so. Yep, we can. Cool. Cool, cool. Damn. Can I go back here? Oh, no, I can't. Even though I can lock onto things back there. Did that dude just get stuck? Like he stuck himself to the ceiling or some shit? Let's do it. Let's do this. On a new video.